everyone, and welcome back to the Mannheim Minute. Today is Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. Today is a day D, and you will be visiting art and music today. We have a lot of information on the news today, so get ready. What day is it? Today is Wacky Wednesday. Hope you had fun picking out your crazy outfit for today. I'm hoping to see some crazy hairdos. So today, be happy, be crazy, be silly, and smile. But most of all, have a wonderful, wacky day. Tomorrow is Team Thursday. This day is all about supporting your favorite sports team. I just might be wearing my favorite Mannheim Vikings football shirt. What day is it? Oh, today is Veterans Day. And it's a federal holiday in the United States observed annually on November 11th for honoring military veterans. That's the people who serve in the United States Armed Forces, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. Today, we will be honoring and recognizing loved ones of Mannheim staff that have served. To start us off, first we have Mrs. Brooks's grandfather, Harry Ryblick Sr. Mr. Ryblick served in the United States Army and is a World War II veteran. He served under, under General Patton. Dr. Kelly's dad, Robert Dalton. He was the staff sergeant in the U.S. Army. His job was a forward observer. He fought during the Korean War, 1950 to 1952. Next, we have Dr. Kelly's husband, Mike Kelly. Mr. Kelly was a sergeant in the 82nd Airborne Division of the United States Army. He served from 1983 to 1987, and he served during peacetime in both the United States and in Italy. Mrs. Ploppert's father-in-law, William Ploppert. Mr. Ploppert was drafted into the U.S. Army and served during the Vietnam War from 1972 to 1974. This handsome guy is my dad, Robert Heising. He served in the U.S. Navy from 1962 to 1966. He went to Vietnam two times. Below here, you can see all of the different areas that he got to travel to while in the Navy. Some of the big ones being Italy, France, England, and Hong Kong. Mrs. Campbell's husband, he's a staff sergeant, his name is Michael Campbell, and he served in the U.S. Army and the 324th Military Battalion from 1998 to 2006. Mr. Campbell was deployed to Iraq for the entire year of 2003. Here we have Mrs. Buffington's dad, Paul Van Nord. Mr. Van Nord served in the United States Navy in the 1960s. And this picture here has Mrs. Buffington wearing her dad's Navy uniform back in 2011 when they were at a special Veterans Day celebration. Mrs. Mertz's dad, Ken Hobbs, he served in the United States Army. He was a mechanic from 1970 to 1971. Next, we have Miss Stair's dad, Dale E. Stair. Mr. Stale, Stare was in the United States Marine Corps and he was a corporal. He served from 1956 to 1959. He was both active duty and then the reserves. He did his basic training in Paris Island, South Carolina and then was stationed in Puerto Rico. Miss Stare's brother, Stephen D. Stare. He was a corporal in the United States Marine Corps. He served from 1984 to 1988. He did his basic training in Paris Island, South Carolina. He was overseas one year in Japan and stationed in Camp Pendleton, California. Here we have Mrs. King's sister, Miriam, and her brother-in-law, Will. They both serve in the United States Air Force. Both Miriam and Will are stationed at Joint Base Lewis-McChord in Washington State. Miriam is a cyber systems operations technician, and she has been serving for 18 years. <clears throat> Will is a meteorologist, and he's been serving in the Air Force for 16 years.
Today, it was great to be able to honor and recognize those that have served or even some that are currently serving. If you know anyone uh, in your family that have served, call them and thank them. Ah, let's move on. Where's the Viking Wednesday? You know, this is my favorite day. I love this. Where is that Viking? Man, I see some animals. I see some goats. Ah, look for some other clues. I see some chickens. We've talked about chickens and somebody that has chickens. And then some ducks. Ah, do you see that smile in the corner of that one picture? Huh, she looks pretty familiar. Looks like Mrs. Buffington. Hmm, do you guys know where you are? Talk to a friend, see where that Viking is. Hmm, is it the zoo? No, if you said zoo, you're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> they are at Mrs. Buffington's house. She has a farm and she has all kinds of animals there. It's always fun to be at her place. Uh, Mrs. Buffington, I think that we should have a field trip to your house for the teachers. What do you think, Mrs. Bell? Oh, yes, because that Viking had fun while he was there. All right. Can't wait to see where the Viking is next week. For November, our core essential value is gratitude. It's a really important um, trait as we go through the month. Have you thanked someone today? Did you let them know that they helped you and that they that you appreciate them? Don't let a day go by without saying thank you to someone that has helped you. Just like Mrs. Bauer suggested earlier, maybe you can thank a veteran today. It's time, boys and girls, to remember what our star expectations are. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe and respect people and property. Make today an incredible day, Mannheim. Bye, guys.